Hi, I'm Derek from Good Times Marine. Today I'm at the massive Dumbia trailer factory with Russell Dumbia, the founder of the business. I'm just going to ask a few questions and Russell's kindly offered to take us for a bit of a drive through and looking at how these trailers are put together and uh, why Dumbia is the number one trailer manufacturer in Australia. Russell, when did the business start? 1969. So there's a fair bit of history there. It's a lot of history and we started when the guy shot to the moon. So did it start this big straight away or did you have an early start that was fairly humble and built up no, from there? No, it started humble with one person, two people after 18 months. Then uh, we drove taxis of a night to pay for the rent. Far out. Then over the uh, years we've gradually moved from one factory to larger factories. And of course now we've wound up at here. We've had probably four or five moves over the years with the different buildings, but now we've, once we moved here, then we start to move interstate as well to uh, to start and get the production through on the on the factory. So how many sites have you got now, including this one here? Uh, we've got five sites. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I know with our dealership in Sydney and you're based in Melbourne, one of the things we really appreciate is having a, a, a sizable office in Sydney that's able to assist us very, very quickly, mind you, if we've got any things we need urgently for a customer, having that premise, is that one of the main differences between you and the other trailer manufacturers? That's the Australia? main difference between us and the other guys, yeah. That it's, uh, we're there to back up the dealer at all times. With regards to technology with boats, a lot of people think, well, a trailer's a trailer. It can't have really been too complicated over the years. It is what it is. Have you um, made any major transitions from the early days to where you are now with regards to your designs? You've got to make uh, major, major decisions and major uh, changes year in and year out, all the time, to uh, keep updating the trailers and to keep moving along with the market. Different materials come up and you can change with the material. And this is what uh, it makes it interesting too at the same time to be able to do that, where people, as you said, they just turn around and say a trailer is a trailer. But uh, if you can make the changes to the trailer and make it a lot better, that's, that's what makes us more comfortable and more happy of doing the job. With regards to fashion in trailers, have you noticed any shift where people are asking for their trailers to be look pretty instead of just be functional? Is that something that's an issue with your customer base? That comes in and comes out. That comes in about every five or six years where they want them, want the trailers done up, then it goes back to the, the normal looking trailer again. But all trailers that are on the market today, not only ours, but all the trailers do look good now and everyone's uh, well aware of the trailers and it's to be able to sell them that even though they're in the galvanised finish, it's uh, that's that's part of the system now in Australia with the yeah, the galvanised finish and as long as the trailer works and does the job, that's what the customer is most interested in now. Do you think we can get to the point where you're pretty certain you've reached the limit of how you can design a trailer to be able to do what it's meant to do in supporting a boat. Is, there, is the engineering going to be at the point where you know you've figured it all out now and the trails will just stay the same from then on or do you think it's going to be a continual process? Of I think it's a continual process all the time because boats do change too as well and you've got to change with the boats. And uh, so if you can change the trail around to suit the boats and go through, that's what also makes it interesting on down the uh, line as well. Very good. Well, I guess you better take me for a walk through and uh, have a look at the place. Well, thanks very much. No problems. <laughs> Let's go and check out what Dumbia and how the Dumbia trailers come together. Got here, you've got all the, uh, where the steel comes in. This is where it comes in for all cut up. We run it down through the saw. It then goes through the, uh, the drilling processes. It'll then go through the uh, press machine and the rolling machine to get our shape. So take a straight piece of bar and put a really perfect bend in it. That's it. So once all the uh, pieces are cut, everything comes across to the welders in the welding bay and they uh, weld all the components together. What he's doing is cleaning up the frame after it's been welded so he's set to go to the welding oven. Cutting roller pins at the moment. So you, all the component parts are made in these areas here. So uh, what's that's the winch post? That's the winch post of what he's doing here. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's how um, where we pick for the orders to be processed to go out to the dealerships. And this is the bulk warehouse of where all the containers come in with tyres and every component that goes in the trailers. Over there you've got approximately about 30,000 wobble rollers. The factory uses approximately about 8,000 a month. So we need good backup stocks in those particular areas. Tyres is about the same. We use about 2,800 a month in tyres. And we need good backup stocks in the uh, tyres just in case the containers are late. All tyres now that come into Australia, or all tyres that are used in Australia, all come from overseas. There's no tyre plants left that manufacture tyres. <coughs> the wheels you see here are all, all uh, containers, container size, so they all go straight in. There's no room left in the containers. And with the amount of tyres that we use, like as I said before, there's roughly about 26 to 2,800 uh, wheels we use a month. So that's one container a month we're using with uh, 2,600 wheels in it. Yep. Everything in this section here is under five metres. All the larger trailers for five metres and over there in the other section outside. It's our, uh, our new aluminium series that you're filming there at the moment. And all the larger, uh, larger trailers from about 5.3 onwards in this section. What he's doing at the front of you there, he's testing the uh, lights on the trailer. Every trailer's got to be tested before it leaves the line. Then they have the final inspection. Then they tick it off on the tag as it goes out the door. Okay, the la this is a completed trailer we've got here. The last operation is the VIN number to go on. And this is what Danny's doing at the moment. I've got to say that, that was very, very impressive. The amount of inventory you have to carry to be able to assist us as a dealer in getting our trailers to us straight away is very impressive. And the technology and the sheer size of it, I had no idea it was going to be that big just to put a boat trailer together. I really appreciate you showing us through today, Russell. It's a pleasure. And uh, we look forward to buying more and more dummies from you. Well, that's, that's more of a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having listened to, listened to us today. And um, that's Dumbia Trailers in a nutshell.